Hello friends. In this video we will learn about major landforms of the earth, mountains, plateaus and plains. The land surface of the earth is not the same everywhere. It has a variety of features. There are highlands at some places, while others are low-lying. A mountain is a large mass of land that rises to a great height, much above the surrounding area. The top of a mountain is called a peak. It may be sharp or rounded. It slopes down to the base, which is generally wide. What is the difference between a mountain and a hill? Mountain is a large natural landform that extends above the surrounding terrain, usually forming a peak. Higher than 1968 feet. It is steeper. Climbing a mountain is harder and more challenging. Hill is a natural landform that extends above the surrounding terrain. Less than 984 to 1968 feet. It is less steep. Comparatively easier to climb. Mountains occur in long chains called ranges. Some mountain peaks are permanently covered with snow, and are called snow caps or snow fields. Glaciers are a common feature, on the slopes of many mountains. Glaciers give rise to perennial rivers. In India, the Siachen in the Karakoram range and the Gangotri in the Himalayas are two big glaciers. The mountain regions have scanty population. This is so, because steep slopes, lack of agricultural land, lack of transport facilities and extreme cold climate makes them unsuitable for human habitation. Based on their origin, mountains can be classified into three types. Fold Mountains Block Mountains And Volcanic Mountains Fold Mountains are the most common type of mountain. They formed from the folding of the Earth's crust. Huge amounts of sediments are deposited on the seabed forming horizontal layers. When these layers of sediments are compressed from both sides, they are squeezed and folded. Gradually they get uplifted and form fold mountains. The Himalayas, the Alps, the Andes and the Rockies are all young fold mountains formed in the recent geological ages. They are very high, with steep slopes and sharp, pointed peaks. The old fold mountains like the Urals, the Appalachians and the Awalis are low in height and have gentle slopes and rounded peaks. Sometimes, due to the forces of tension, cracks or faults occur in the Earth's crust and the horizontal layers of rocks break down into several blocks. These blocks either get uplifted or subside along the fault. The uplifted blocks are called block mountains or hosts and the subsided blocks are called rift valleys or grobins. The Rhine River Valley is an example of a rift valley enclosed by two block mountains, the Vosges and the Black Forest. In India, Windhya and Satpura are two block mountains. Nirmada River Valley, and Tapi River Valley runs between them. During volcanic activity, hot molten lava, together with ash, cinder, Smoke comes out from deep inside the earth through openings or vents in the crust. When lava reaches the surface, it cools down, it solidifies, forming a volcanic cone, which gradually builds up in size and becomes a mountain. Mount Fuji in Japan, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, and Mount Vesuvius in Italy are examples of volcanic mountains. Mountains act as barriers, against cold and hot winds. They force the moisture-bearing winds to rise and thus cause rainfall. The glaciers give rise to rivers, which provide us with water for irrigation, 
hydroelectricity and other uses. Gentle slopes of the mountains are used for cultivation of crops and fruits as well as for sheep rearing. It provides minerals for industries and stones for construction. Forests provide valuable softwood, medicinal herbs and other products. Mountain slopes are covered with dense forests, which are home to a variety of wildlife. Mountains are very important for tourism. Plateaus is a comparatively flat land, that rises abruptly from the surrounding area. Its surface is undulating, and it usually has steep slopes, on one or more sides. It is also called a, tableland. Plateaus vary in height from a few hundred, to several thousand meters. It is formed by internal forces, volcanic activity or erosion. Major plateaus of the world are Western Australia Canadian Shield Patagonia Ethiopian Plateau Plateau of Iran and Deccan Plateau Tibetan Plateaus is the highest plateaus in the world. Plateaus are rich in mineral deposits. The African Plateaus is rich in gold, diamond, copper, and uranium. In India, the Deccan Plateau and the Chhota Nagpur Plateaus have vast reserves of coal, iron ore, manganese, and bauxite. Rivers in the plateau regions form waterfalls, as they drop abruptly down the steep slopes. These waterfalls are utilized for generation of hydroelectricity. The Victoria Falls in Africa, the Niagara Falls in North America and the Jog Falls in India are some examples. Volcanic plateaus are rich in black soil. They are very fertile and good for crops like cotton and sugar cane. The natural beauty of plateau areas also attracts many tourists. A plain is a flat, low-lying surface with a very gentle slope. Most plains have fertile soil and are thus, ideal for agriculture. River plains have abundant supply of water, which is very useful for human settlements. The flat surface of plains helps in the construction of transport network, buildings, and industries. Hope you understand everything about mountains, their types, plateaus and plains. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel for better understanding.